Hey everybody, the bong is back. Welcome to part 50 of Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Okay, I was gonna head on out to Jupiter Lighthouse, but then I realized I forgot to pick up some artifacts. A mirror shield to delude enemies. Mm, that'll be good. I mean, I, I buy armor for defense. Really, even though it's gonna drop Pure's attack, he still has a very good attack stat. And the Jewel Crown, um, yeah, it looks like I'm giving it to Shiva. Her defense goes up much higher compared to, say, Jenna and Pierce. So, give that to Felix. Okay, all this stuff... I think that's gonna be it. I mean, good thing I spent a lot of time at the slots to pick up some extra shirts and boots. So I'll show them off while I got the chance. The uh, Mithril Shirt is good for boosting defense and HP, and all four characters can equip it. Sadly, I did not get four Mithril Shirts, I only got two. One for Felix and one for Piers. Hyper Boots are very valuable for boosting your defense and your chance of criticals. So if you have a special weapon like, say, the Hestia Blade, you're in luck. Jenna has a Silk Shirt, which boosts defense and luck. Not as good as the Mithril Shirt, but it'll have to do. Fur Boots are good for boosting defense and resisting water, but I prefer Hyper Boots, or Quick Boots. Oh yeah, the Hover Jade, I forgot to equip that. I'm gonna need that for Jupiter Lighthouse. Running Shirt just boosts agility, not as good in defense-wise as the Mithril Shirt. And Quick Boots also boost defense and agility. And as for Pyrrhus, he doesn't have anything special. So enough of him. Okay, I think it's time we head on up to Jupiter Lighthouse. The third lighthouse in all of Wayard. And the first one we're gonna run into in the game. I still can't get over the fact that, well... Golden Sun 1 ended in 47 parts. Most of you guys already know that. And the final dungeon there was Jupiter Lighthouse, which I entered in like the mid-40s. And the first lighthouse I entered in there was Mercury Lighthouse, which I think was part 9 or 10. This is part 50, and just now I'm entering Jupiter Lighthouse. You might think it's strange or practically stupid, but given the fact that Jupiter and Mars are not space far apart in the game compared to Mercury and Venus, I guess I could understand. Okay, if we go up to the top, that's going to take us to the elevators, which will lead to the area of the lighthouse. But since the elevators are up on top and the lighthouse is not activated, they ain't going to move. Therefore, if we're going to get to the top of the lighthouse, we have to start from ground zero and work our ways up. Nice hot statue, though, and the long hair. Damn, it reaches up to her ankles. Hey, even goddesses need a haircut, too. Locked. I mean, seriously, with hair that long, to wash your hair, you'd be in the shower for like hours. You'd be draining entire oceans or lakes. By the time we get all the grease and the dandruff and clean out your hair extensions, if any, it would just be a waste. I mean, my hair, I don't really consider long. It never gets long. It just gets thick to the point that if you have to dry it, it takes a long, long time. Excuse me. Hmm, vanilla hazelnut coffee. Delicious. But yeah, I have to cut my hair every three weeks. Oh, by the way, Devil Scorpion and Foul Mummy are new enemies. This one's a palette swap of the King Scorpion we fought in Yanfi Desert. And Foul Mummy is put plain, as a mummy would be. But yeah, I have to cut my hair every three or four weeks because I don't like it very thick. In fact, there was one time when I shaved my head bald and my parents did not want me to do it anymore. They found out about it even though I never told them because when they was doing like a little news article about the buses and they was doing like a highlight of when the bus is going to school or the college at the time, I was actually shown 
with my bald head. And one of my relatives is saying, hey, hey, mom. Hey, insert mom's name there. Did you know your son is bald? They shaved his head? Apparently, I had to explain that over the phone for like three or four minutes. And, well, obviously, they don't need to do it anymore. I didn't mind having bald hair. I mean, a bald head because it was so easy to manage. In fact, it was something different for me. Don't we all dare to be different at some points? Oh, that mad plant was easy. We got a mint out of that. So more agility boosting for Shiba. There. Okay, we're set. Man, if we keep this up, Shiba's gonna be faster than Sonic. If that can ever be possible. Oh, Spirit Ring, what do I do without you? Probably be oblivious to the fact that I can use you as many times as I want outside of battle. Thank you, random fan of Golden Sun who mentioned that to me. Because I likely would have overlooked that. I mean, hey, I'm good at games, but I make mistakes too. Hmm, since I'm going to be using Hover a lot, let's set that as a shortcut. You had to use it on that purple light over there you have a few seconds to get to where you need to be. Otherwise, you'll just have to do it again. Alright, foul scorpions. Wait, double scorpions. I mean, you're going down. Obviously, they're weak against fire. I can't believe I never used to enjoy the taste of coffee. Ooh, Felix at level 31! Ah, and he's a slayer! Like a boss. Alright. Alright, Shiva, blow us up. No, I mean, you Cyclone to send us up. I don't mean to set us ablaze and send our body parts everywhere. That's never a good idea. Okay, obviously, we're going to need to put this pillar on this particular tile. There, now in case I want to leave and come back, I don't even need to go underground anymore. Ooh, this looks very ominous and pretty. Alright, what to do now? Okay, obviously I can't do anything with that, but let me put that over there just in case. I bet it has something to do with hover though, but it's not activated. I have to find a way to activate it somehow. Now let's see what I can do about these pillars. I mean, this is not very complex, it's just four pillars you gotta deal with. Alright, solve the puzzle. Push us to the right one more time to get to that chest. Remember, you should never immediately leave once you solve a puzzle. Because chances are you'll find something else, like an Irenius tunic. I don't think I pronounced it properly, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with Greek mythology. Raises attack and evade. Ooh, we should get this then. I mean, everybody's gonna benefit from this, in a big way. But who would benefit from it more? Uh, Felix would only see two extra defense, Jenna would see eight, she would see seven, Piers would see 13. Ooh, that's pretty good. I think we got a winner. Sorry, Jenna. I learned a deal. Alright, that's sending us higher. And we get interrupted right away. Thanks. Much appreciated. Just to know there's a welcoming committee. I will apply some pain to that burn. That's right, I didn't even use any sheen. Fair enough. on chains. What is this, Donkey Kong Country now? 
Why the hell did I use Cyclone? I meant Whirlwind. Yeah, that pillar is in the way. I'll have to push it from the other side if I am to advance. It looks like I don't need to be in that particular side yet. I mean, puzzles like this are why I love Golden Sun. Oh, here's a new enemy, Maze Tail. It's a pallet swamp of Avamander, which is weak against water, by the way. So there's something there that completely stands out. Uh, I don't want to use anything too powerful. What the hell? Use chill. Hmm. Wow, it survived that. Not bad. Thanks! I got something I'll never need. It's like a blender for a wedding and gift. Seriously. Or a Christmas sweater. And the door's locked. Obviously, I need a key. Which I don't have. But we can't all be like Skyrim, where you can just pick locks. Well, certain ones you can't pick, of course. They actually need, well, keys! Oh well. I guess that's another place we'll have to leave alone for now. I'll deal with you later, Mr. Door. Up oh, here's a new enemy! It's a Wyvern! Or a Wyvern. Whatever way you want to pronounce it, I could give two shits. Or hell, two and three quarter shits, as far as I'm concerned. Either way, you can't be wrong if you pronounce it Wyvern or Wyvern. I usually say Wyvern, because that's the way I've been hearing about it all the time. And I'm more familiar with it. Just don't get butt hurt if I call it Wyvern instead of Wyvern. I know you guys won't, but there's... Well... There's guaranteed at least one person that would get all anal about it. It's like, a bunga is waving! That makes you faggot, man! I don't think people actually do act like that, but if they do, they're off the Christmas card list. Which I don't have, by the way. Therefore, their lives are not affected in any way whatsoever. And it looks like I won't be able to get through the other side yet. Which means... Hmm. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to figure this one out? Oh, right, right, right. I go here. And I go down. So there's no reason for this pillar to be on this spot, because it's going to lead to a dead end. I'll drink some coffee while I'm at it. Ugh. Hopefully I drink it all before it gets cold. I hate cold coffee, and I hate warm beer. That's the way it is. I mean, if beer gets warm, it's practically turning my stomach. I don't know why, it just is. There's just something about warm beer that's completely unappetizing. It just feels so foul. I mean, I can handle warm vodka, or mixed drinks or something. Ooh, meditation rod. Unleashes Nirvana! Yeah! <laughs> ah! I wonder if the rod smells like teen spirit. Perhaps the rod will actually drain you. And I got nothing else. Insert your own Nirvana related comments. As far as I'm concerned. Oh. Okay. Now let's move this out of the way. Haha, <laughs> nice. Uh, now the 
let's see. Let's make a drop. Mm, doesn't look like there's anything significant. Oh, there's the key. Can't reach it, though. I'll probably need to hover, but I can't do that either. Alright, guys, do your worst. Shiva, this is a good time for you to test out that new Nirvana. If you can actually get the Unleashed to work. And you couldn't. You're just a poor man, Kurt Cobain, Shiva! If he were still alive, he'd pimp slap you! Pimp slap you so bad, you turn into Courtney Love! Ooh, yeah, that's right, you know what I'm talking about! You took that threat seriously, Shiba. I think that was a water-related attack, or wind. I couldn't really tell. I'm pretty sure it's water because, well, the Devil Scorpion was very strong against it. Okay, there's the elevators, but I can't do anything with them. And the airy is locked. That means I had to find a way to remove that lid before I can do something with the Jupiter Star. Can't throw it in if the hole's closed. Hmm, what's this? This looks very important. Holder of the Star, show the power of Animos. Um, okay. Wait, I got a shortcut, duh. This? Oh yeah, it's reacting. Looky, looky, looky what I just did. Usually when you hear that kind of music, that means you did something right. I mean, look at this. Now all the dormant hover panels are completely activated. So, I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next part, we're going to see the whole fruits of our devices that we just fixed. See ya, everybody.